girl Millie Chun. So Tasha K, this is a preview to what she's putting out on Friday. Now I think she's putting her conversation with Rocky out on Friday. And I think the conversation with Unique is going to be on her website. I think I'm going in with a couple of girls so we can get it. That remains to be seen. But let's get into this breakdown. Hold on. Um, so let me tell you what I done stumbled across. So I'm in Atlanta. I was going to Atlanta to interview uh, Monique and Derek. Now, she didn't get a chance to interview Monique and Derek because their publicist had quit. On them in Atlanta, it was set up. She left Florida to go to Atlanta to interview Monique and Derek, and they quit on the spot. So she's a little pissed about that. Let's keep going. I ended up hitting the mistress and the DM, and I was like, hey, I'm in Atlanta. You you wanna go you wanna come down and, and do this interview? And you know what she said? Absolutely. Absolutely. So when Monique and Derek out, she was like, I gotta find something to do, right? So she hit up Unique. Unique said she'd come and interview her with her. But see, Tasha K was real jazzy right here. Cause this is her stage right here, right? But you know you saw that she was real humble when she was in the presence of Unique. Let's keep going. All of this is going on while I'm entering the plane. So she literally says her name is Unique, okay? And she says, I'm going to come down there and I'm going to come at 1230 at night. So I immediately thought, maybe she's coming from the strip club. I don't know. You know, maybe she got to go to work. And I said, listen, you can say anything you want. We're not cutting. We're not chopping. You want to cuss me out. You want to fight me. Whatever you want to do. This is your platform to say what you want, okay? Literally, I said, listen, if you got the receipts, I'm going to apologize to you. I'm going to bow to you and I'm going to apologize. So Tasha K is in Atlanta. The interview with Monique and Derek fell through. She hit Unique in the DMs. Unique called her, introduced herself, came down at 12.30 a.m. in the morning, and they got into it. Let's go. She gave me her phone. Look. Open it up. Look. Scroll. Open. Look. When I tell you I was still scrolling, scrolling. I'm just, I said, D you can't, this is not fake news. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, the baby is real. You can't carry a baby. Shit. Three babies. Pregnancy test. This man done took a photo and turned around and took a photo in the bathroom at their house, at Latasha house, and sent her a picture. Sent it to two other women, too, the same photo. Because when she so showed me that photo, I said, I've seen this photo before. This photo looked familiar, okay? Um, tattoo. Tattoo. She got a tattoo of this man's name. This big. This big. So he sent this picture out to other people in Tasha's house that they share. And she was like, well, you do understand. Tasha K was like, well, you do understand why I say this is fake news. She was like, yeah, um, the ultrasound looked fake. Um, I said I was hacked. And then um, the communication between me and him, he wrote. And in her phone, Tasha witnessed everything that Rocky wrote for her to say. I'm gonna let her tell you though, hold on. This man has been around her kids. Everything. I said, why? I said, not Esther. Not, I said, you know why I called it fake news, right? She said, I know. She said, I zoomed in on the ultrasound and it looked fake. And then I came back and said I was hacked. And then I saw the message thread between him and her, unedited, unscrewed, unchopped, of him telling her exactly what to write. Everything. And she didn't delete nothing. They were in a relationship. This was a second wife. This was Sharina Hudson. Now, I saw the interview that she was talking about with Latasha at the radio station, and she was, like, capping for her husband. I said, Latasha, let me tell you something. There's a, there's a text message. And matter of fact, I'm just going to put out just this much of the text message just to let you know. I'm going to put it in TashaKLive.com. And he literally says to her, it's Tasha's birthday today, so, you know, I can't, I can't get to see you today, but, you know, I got you. And then hotel receipts, uh, hotel reservations and flights came through. But then after the hotel and flight information had come through, his next things out of his mouth was, I got you tomorrow because I'm coming to tap that you know what. Yo! Tasha, you better give your girl her, her money back. You better give it back. Let's keep going.
So then Tasha said she didn't even know that Rocky's name was really Edward until she saw the flights and all that receipts, right? And plus, the girl got his name tattooed on her whole body. So then she gets a call from Edward, a.k.a. Rocky, early in the morning. Let's get into that. They came to me. They say Edward Bivens. 7.53 a.m. He was the first person to call me. When, as soon as he woke up, he didn't even brush his teeth. So Rocky didn't call her, right? He didn't call Tasha K. And he talking to her. And it's like what we all say. He like this smooth talker, right? But she has, she has something to say about Tasha. And I think we all feel the same way. So let's just get into that. I'm going to let her say it. I'm not going to say it. Let's go. Latasha is utterly dumb. If she believes anything that comes out of Edward's mouth. I, I, he said, my friends told me not to call you. I said, you should have listened to him. And, and Tasha knows. I said, I don't think Tasha knows this. Because if she knew this, you wouldn't be on my phone. You wouldn't be on my phone saying, I could give you anything you want. Just don't put that out. If your wife truly knew what I have or what she has, she knows what you told her. Because y'all been together. 30 years but she don't know because she's taking your word at face value like we've all all said tasha has to know something because you can't just be moving like this for five years and nobody feels something you know what i'm saying and he says she knows we know she knows let's just keep going i've been around this lady kids and y'all got to hear the story about how he can't have kids. Oh, Lord Jesus. When I tell you Friday is going down, it's going to be on YouTube. And then we're going to put the mistress interview on TashaKLive.com. But Rocky, I, I, I want y'all to hear. I, I want Tasha to finally hear. I want her to finally hear what her, like, if this is how her husband's been talking to her for years, then obviously, you know what, maybe Tasha kind of deserves it. I don't know. I don't wish this kind of pain on nobody, but, like, when I heard the way he, he was speaking and just stuttering and talking in circles and trying to butter me up and just, ooh. And I'm going to say this. No woman deserves this type of treatment. Nobody does, right? But Tasha clearly loves her husband. And a lot of people may think that Rocky is not all that into Tasha. But I believe he talks fast with the buttering up. You know, when he was talking to her in the ear on the show. Like, I get that. I get it. Let's keep going. It was so bad that my husband and the leader of our, our gang unit over here uh, was like, damn. And he was like, you know what? I ain't even worried about it. My wife going to ride with me. I don't think she going to get in the car after this. And if she do get in the car, don't none of y'all feel sorry for this lady no more. Let her catch whatever he's giving. I agree with Tasha K. If they show all of this information, if it's true, and I'm going to say allegedly with all of this, because I haven't seen it, but if they can show receipts, credible receipts, a Rocky and Unique together, and Tasha still believes Rocky, I have nothing else to say because either you're going to stay with it and shut your mouth or you're going to leave and get out of it. Now, if she does this or whatever, I'm going to tell y'all, honestly, I'm not going to have anything else to say about it. I'm not going to have anything. It's not even my place to say anything else because this woman loved this man. Quiet as kept. Some people have said that he don't feel the same way she feels. So y'all, I feel like we need to talk about this, right? I may go live tonight later on like seven eight eight ish nine ish right not long it might be eight so we can get a solid hour and then i'm out but i'm gonna talk to y'all later it's your girl millie chun i'll be back with something else bye